All right. So as if last week we didn't have enough destruction to our Super Duty, this week we're going all the way down to the bare frame. So that means our grinders, cutoff wheels, and plasma torches are gonna get a serious workout. Hey Kevin, I got your grinder. Kevin and Derek will be working away at cutting off unnecessary factory brackets from the frame, as well as cutting the frame down the middle to take a chunk out of it to shorten it up. My name is Derek Metz. I'm one of the engineers here at BDS. I'm currently working side to side with Kevin on the SEMA build to help ensure that we get the frame and all the components exactly where we need them to be. Now that we have our frame cut and cleaned up and everything, uh, we're going to try and work on pulling it back together. Um, our first attempt here, we're basically just going to get some big ratchet straps. Um, we expect this to be a pretty nice, easy fit, so we're going to try and just kind of ease it in with those straps. Now, when it came to putting the frame back together, the guys kind of turned it into a bit of a strongman competition to see who could pull the most frame back in together. Come on, Jordan. Right. Oh, crap. Got that problem, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Well, the, the Don't straps. blame me on the, the straps. straps. Don't blame me on the straps. First thing he does is start blaming the strap. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Been out here doing strap. <laughs> you better get it today because tomorrow Kevin's going to walk in so hard. Awesome. Alright, guys, so we're up here working on the front of this frame section, uh, working on removing the factory radius arm brackets and uh, trying to get this cleaned up for Chad so that he can get going on his front four-link suspension system. Um, he's got some neat ideas on how we're going to incorporate that and make it look a lot more OEM than our, you know, standard bolt-on system. So, next thing we need to do is design the four-link brackets for the front suspension. Um, trying to make them look as OEM as possible as it, it rolled off the assembly line this way. Going to a four-link setup because of better control of the front axle, better caster control, and better motion. Um, pretty beefy arms, so I'll be able to take any um, pounding the truck takes. So how we're going to go about this portion of the build is we're Getting a lot of these hoses, clips, wires, and everything removed from the frame and bundled up with the engine. Um, we've got some guys developing a stand, so we're going to remove this from the frame, put it on the stand, and that'll allow us to finish up all our bracket removal, cleaning up of the welds in the frame, and reassembly of our new brackets and welding and all that there before we get the frame painted. With all the major progress going on, Jordan had a big announcement to share with the team. Goodbye, y'all. Leaving? I got a hair cut appointment. Can't miss it. Hairs or hair? Just one. Okay. Just one follicle. Hey, well, Jordan's getting his hair done. We're going to continue working on this super duty.
With the engine removed and the frame stripped down, it was time for Kevin to start welding on some brackets. So at this point, we've got all our frame brackets welded on for the most part. Um, four link mounts, trailing arm mounts, coilovers. Over here, we're working in the cab. Um, we've got our seats fit up. Wait, did Kevin just say seats? So a big way on how you can improve the interior of your rig is by upgrading it with some PRP racing seats. Now, Project SD-126 is gonna be getting some orange accented PRP racing seats that are their Enduro recliner style. Now, they're also outfitted with the PRP 5.3 racing harnesses, just for our safety. Now, we went with these. Obviously, you can tell they're extremely cool looking seats that have the awesome orange accents. But also, we managed to get custom embroidery done of having Project SD-126 right here in the seat itself. Back in here, we're working on a cage. Uh, Kyle's got that going right over here. We can go see what he's up to. What you got going on, Kyle? Hey guys, Kyle, I'm a product development engineer here. I'm able to get involved in the SEMA build. I'm pretty excited for this. Get to do some tube work, some sheet metal work. Gonna be focused on the roll cage and center console. As a lot of guys here, we like to do custom work and able to get involved in the SEMA build. I'm pretty excited. I'm warming up the cage now. It's kind of a, yeah, a lot of tubing, so it's gonna be forming coming up here shortly. Trying to keep the OEM look, keeping the body panels, trying to work around those as best we can. Um, we got to come up with some kind of a center console. Um, we're also going to do sidebars here and just try to keep it a nice flow and a great look for this truck. We will check back in later with Kyle on the interior. Right now, our frame is finished being fabricated and is ready to head off for a fresh paint job. All right, so we're here at Butler Body Shop. We're gonna talk with Jeff, see what's going on. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Hey, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. So we got the uh, the frame dropped off. Should we go check it out, see what you guys are gonna do? Yeah, you brought it in last night. Let's go see what we got. Sweet. We guys started prepping it on it. Started on it, and let you talk to Brett on what he's doing, and then Chandler on what they're doing. So you guys have already started. It looks like sanding. Is that what we got going on? Yep. Sweet. Yeah. Chandler's sanding it with 80 grit right now to get it a good slag grinder marks out of it. Okay. Yeah. So the whole game plan for for this for today is pretty much just to get all the factory anodized paint off of there. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, and then get any slag, clean up any welds that um, need attention and. Gonna just get some epoxy primer on it. Okay. Take and put on uh, probably two coats. 
yeah. two coats of epoxy because we we're gonna um, we'll put on a dark epoxy first and then if you see if there's any imperfections then go back over it and touch it up you know fine tune it and then we'll give it one more coat and then we'll go into the into paint booth. Sweet. So the guys at Butler Body Shop getting to work on the frame, making it look pretty and stuff, painting it up. We're gonna get back to our shop and get back to work on the cab. So we have the frame back from Butler Body Shop. Kevin's over here inspecting it, making sure it's up to spec for what we want. And basically, I mean, you're looking at it. It looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Everything turned out really well. Uh, paint looks really good. So we're going to move forward here. All right. Uh, so pretty much now it's kind of a mad dash to put this whole truck back together. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be kind of in a rush here getting things back together. We're going to start out getting the drivetrain in it here pretty quick. Ooh, buddy. All right. Let's get to it. Awesome. Next time at BDS Suspension, the team has a fresh frame and little time to assemble a truck around it.